Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation. 2 to the power x squared minus 1 is equal to x. We need to find all possible values of x. According to this property of exponents, a to the power m minus n is equal to a to the power m over a to the power n. We can write this 2 to the power x squared minus 1 as 2 to the power x squared over 2 to the power 1 is equal to x. Now because here we have a 2 to the power x squared, so we multiply both sides of this equation by 2 to the power negative x squared. At left side we multiply by 2 to the power negative x squared. Now according to this property of exponents, a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. We can write this uh, 2 to the power negative x squared times 2 to the power x squared as 2 to the power negative x squared plus x squared divided by 2 to the power 1 is 2 is equal to x times 2 to the power negative x squared. 2 to the power negative x squared plus x squared is 2 to the power 0 divided by 2 is equal to x times 2 to the power negative x squared. Next, 2 to the power 0 is equal to 1 over 2 is equal to x times 2 to the power negative x squared. Now we write this x times 2 to the power negative x squared at left side and this 1 over 2 at right side. Like this x times 2 to the power negative x squared is equal to 1 over 2. Now we want to use here Lambert W function that is W function of a times e to the power a is equal to a. To use the Lambert W function here we must have same expression here and we must have same expression here. As you can see in this Lambert W function we have same expression here a and we have same expression here a. But for now here we have negative x squared and here we have only x. So to make this x x squared we take a square of both sides of this equation and this x has power 1 here. So according to this property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power 1 by this power 2 and we multiply this power negative x square by this power 2. So this expression becomes x to the power 1 times 2 2 times 2 to the power negative x squared times 2 negative 2x squared is equal to 1 over 2 squared is equal to 1 over 4. Now we have here x squared and here negative 2x squared. So to make this x squared same as this negative 2x squared, we multiply both sides of this equation by negative 2. At left side we multiply by negative 2. So negative 2 times x squared negative 2x squared times 2 to the power negative 2x squared is equal to 1 over 4 times negative 2. Now here we have same expression negative 2x squared and here we have same expression negative 2x squared. But to use the Lambert W function we must have E in place of this 2. As you can see in this Lambert W function we have E here. 
so to bring e in place of this two we use this uh, natural log property e to the power ln of a is equal to a according to this property e to the power ln of 2 is equal to 2 so we replace this 2 with this e to the power ln of 2 like this negative 2 times x squared times we replace this 2 with this e to the power e to the power ln of 2 whole to the power this power negative 2x squared is equal to 1 over 4 times negative 2. Now according to this property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power ln of 2 by this power negative 2x squared. So this expression becomes negative 2x squared times e to the power ln of 2 times negative 2x squared negative 2x squared times ln of 2 is equal to 1 over 4 times negative 2. Now to use the Lambert W function we must have same expression here and same expression here. But uh, for now here we have a negative 2x squared times ln of 2 and here we have only negative 2x squared. So to make this uh, negative 2x squared same as this uh, negative 2x squared times ln of 2 we multiply both sides of this equation by ln of 2. At left side we multiply by ln of 2. So ln of 2 times negative 2x squared negative 2x squared times ln of 2 times e to the power negative 2x squared times ln of 2 is equal to 1 over 4 times negative 2 times ln of now we have same expression here negative 2x squared times ln of 2 and same power of e negative 2x squared times ln of 2. We can use the Lambert W function at left side. But we want to use the Lambert W function at the right side too. So first uh, let's make this right side such that we can use the Lambert W function at the right side too. This uh, left side remains same negative 2x squared times ln of 2 times e to the power negative 2x squared times ln of 2 is equal to 1 over 4 according to this nature log property m times ln of a is equal to ln of a to the power m this power negative 2 this power negative 2 will become the power of this 2 like this ln of 2 to the power negative 2 next negative 2 times x squared ln of 2 times e to the power negative 2 x squared times ln of 2 is equal to 1 over 4 times According to this property of exponents a to the power negative n is equal to 1 over a to the power n. We can write this ln of 2 to the power negative 2 as ln of 1 over 2 to the power 2. Next negative 2 times x squared times ln of 2 times e to the power negative 2x squared times ln of 2 is equal to 1 over 4 times ln of 1 over 2 to the power 2 is 4. Now to use the Lambert W function here that is W function of a times e to the power a is equal to a we must have e in this expression 
as you can see in this lambda w function we have e here so to bring e in this expression we use this natural log property e to the power ln of a is equal to a according to this property e to the power ln of 1 over 4 is equal to 1 over 4 so we replace this 1 over 4 with this e to the power ln of 4 this left side remains same negative 2 times x squared times ln of 2 times e to the power negative 2 x squared times ln of 2 is equal to we replace this 1 over 4 with this e to the power ln of 4 e to the power ln of 1 over 4 times this ln of 1 over 4 next negative 2 times x squared times ln of 2 times e to the power negative 2 x squared times ln of 2 is equal to now we change the position of this ln of 1 over 4 we write this ln of 1 over 4 first and then this e to the power ln of 4 like this ln of 1 over 4 times this e to the power ln of 1 over 4 now on both sides we have same expression here negative 2x squared times ln of 2 and here we have same power of e negative 2x squared times ln of 2 and at right side we have same expression here ln of 1 over 4 and here we have same power of e ln of 1 over 4 so we apply Lambert W function on both sides of this equation so Lambert W function of negative 2x squared times ln of 2 times e to the power negative 2x squared times ln of 2 is equal to this negative 2x squared times ln of 2 so at left side left negative 2 times x squared times ln of 2 is equal to and Lambert W function of ln of 1 over 4 times e to the power ln of 1 over 4 is equal to this ln of 1 over 4 so at right side left ln of 1 over 4 next negative 2 x squared times ln of 2 is equal to we can write this ln of 1 over 4 as ln of 1 over 2 to the power 2 next negative 2 times x squared times ln of 2 is equal to according to this property of exponents 1 over a to the power n is equal to a to the power negative n we can write this ln of 1 over 2 to the power 2 as ln of 2 to the power negative 2 next negative 2 times x squared times ln of 2 is equal to according to this nature log property ln of a to the power m is equal to m times ln of a we can write this ln of 2 to the power negative 2 as negative 2 times ln of 2 now this minus will be cancelled with this minus and we divide both sides by ln of 2 at right side we divide by ln of 2 so this ln of 2 will be cancelled with this ln of 2 and this ln of 2 will be cancelled with this ln of 2 and at left side left 2x squared is equal to at right side left 2 now from here we divide both sides by 2 so this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and we get the value of x squared is equal to 1 and from here we take square root of both sides so this square will be cancelled with this square root and x is equal to plus or minus 1 so from here we get two values of x x is equal to 1 and x 
is equal to negative 1. Now let's verify these values of x and see that whether they are solutions or not. To verify these values, we put these values in the original equation. The original equation is 2 to the power x squared minus 1 is equal to x. First, in this equation, we put the value of x1, 1. Like this, 2 to the power value of x is 1 squared minus 1 is equal to 1. Next, 2 to the power 1 squared is 1 minus 1 is equal to 1. 2 to the power 1 minus 1, 0 is equal to 1 and 2 to the power 0 is 1 is equal to 1. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So this value of x1, 1 is a valid solution. Now in this equation, we put the value of x2, negative 1. 2 to the power value of x2 is negative 1 squared minus 1 is equal to value of x negative 1 and 2 to the power negative 1 squared is 1 minus 1 is equal to negative 1 2 to the power 1 minus 1 0 is equal to negative 1 2 to the power 0 is 1 is equal to negative 1 you can see that 1 is not equal to negative 1 so this value of x2 negative 1 is not a solution. So the only solution of this equation is 1.